Hello, good night. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. And tonight I would like to talk about our favorite condiment, mayonnaise. We all love mayonnaise. And it is the condiment that can make, make everything that is blah turns into a wow, this tastes so good. We use it on our potato salad. Without our potato salad, we wouldn't have a potato salad. We use it on our pasta salad. We use it on our sandwiches. And it is just a very tasteful, delightful, um, enjoyable condiment, mayonnaise. And um, I've been making mayonnaise more than 30 years because I had a cook I have the cookbook that actually have the recipe in it. So I've been making my own mayonnaise for years. And uh, I think it was invented um, um, in 1756. I think there was a chef who wanted to impress his master who was going to battle and um, wanted to um, create something and uh, they actually use cream and eggs to create this condiment and we all love mayonnaise now we eat with the mind first because if somebody say like my sister was saying Sharon you know that I love cauliflower but um, I saw an article or something on YouTube where the snake wrapped up itself in the cauliflower and I don't want no more cauliflower to eat again and I said wow so had she not seen that she would still be eating cauliflower now if, let, let me use another example so we all love our meat or chicken or fish or pork oxtail and uh, some people like tofu i'm not crazy about tofu or am i crazy about um soy soy products like veggie mints and so forth not for me but i was thinking the other day that if i have um, beef pork chicken fish and tofu on my table and none of them are seasoned i just wash them and have them here everything would be bland and i may be able to take the chance and have the tofu and don't get sick because it's actually made from beans could i do that with the the um with the rest of the meat the fish and eat it just like that no i could not that would taste terrible raw and as a matter of fact not seasoned so if i take the chance with a tofu i could probably swallow that and it doesn't kill me but the moment you start adding your favorite seasoning to them so you season them and you fry them or you do whatever you're doing put them in your pot you um you know fry the tofu um you know with all those seasoning and then you make this wonderful sweet and sour sauce you can blend your punk um your pineapple or your mango or whatever it is and make this wonderful sweet and sour sauce and put on the tofu and fool anyone so we eat with the mind so somebody might say i don't want tofu to eat it tastes too bad but the fish the meat and the chicken and everything tastes bad when it is not seasoned so it's not only the tofu tastes bad now i say this to say that mayonnaise is the same thing mayonnaise is made from egg and oil now who would eat egg and oil if it's blended and placed right in front of you i have it here so here i have mayonnaise made from egg and oil so i made this and here I have another mayonnaise. It's not fully mayonnaise as yet because they're both bland. I Okay, so you can see them. Well, that is good. So they're both bland. Okay, so this is egg and oil done in my blender. Okay, and this is actually milk with just a little thickening agent, whether it is cornstarch or flour. So I mix the milk, put it on the stove to, to heat, 
and mix in the little, little um, flour or cornstarch to thicken it and let me show you the consistency it actually looks like mayonnaise more than the real mayonnaise so that is it now um, because coconut milk is sweet it actually tastes good without me adding anything to it this now is egg and oil together in my blender not seasoned or flavored any at all and i would never have this as is no none of us would have it as is this i can have it really tastes good egg and oil it's a no-no so in order to enhance the flavor for it to be really mayonnaise you know and the and and and, and something that as i said before the condiment that most of us do love we have to add something to it to give it that oomph to give it that flavor and this is where something comes in so the first thing we are going to either be using our vinegar now i'm not promoting any brand so i'm actually turning the label in the other direction so this is vinegar so or we use lime juice or lemon juice some people doesn't like to use the vinegar for whatever reason and some prefer the lime they say it's much healthier but because of the tanginess of the vinegar and the lime juice that will change the taste of the mayonnaise okay or of this mixture of the egg and the oil and this so this is what is going to do the trick either the mayonnaise i did sorry either the vinegar or the lemon juice to that lemon juice now we must add salt here we must add a little sugar we must have a little black pepper and whoever can afford mustard can add a little mustard to it okay so that is how mayonnaise is made so right now what I'll be doing I'll be actually added a little to this one to this one so as I said before this is made from milk and I've used packed coconut milk okay i've used packed coconut milk so you if you have powdered milk in um whether soy or play, uh, milk and all um cow's milk and it's in the package um dried you can use this you also can use your tin um your tin coconut milk so you just add it to the pot and you put a little thickening agent in it so as i said before a little cornstarch or a little flour and this is what you get so this actually looks like mayonnaise so as i said that one is very sweet i'm going to tip a little bit and mayonnaise on a whole has a little sugar if you read the label it has a little sugar and salt must be added to it or else it's pretty bland so i'll be adding some of that to this one and i'll be tasting because i already know what mayonnaise tastes like it doesn't need all of that salt that's a lot of salt so i'm going to remove some of that and i'm going to be adding the and a little tip of black pepper now if it not what i want then i will actually add some more and when you're adding this also to your dish whether your pasta dish or your um or your potato salad or your vegetables then you can actually add more to give it that flavor so now i'm going to be adding this mayonnaise to the to the, the um this vinegar to this mixture so this is it okay so this is what it looks like and i'm sure this look like mayonnaise and this is actually coconut milk so we because the mind is so powerful if it um let me taste it very good because the mind is so powerful okay if we have it already prepared and added to a sandwich with an egg sandwich with lettuce and tomato and 
someone comes along and uh, is ready to eat and taste it and might say, oh, wow, this tastes good. And you said to the person, oh, you know, that's not real mayonnaise. I made that from coconut milk and so forth. The person might say, wow, hmm. Uh, you know, or if a person knew before, they might not want to have it because the mind might tell them, even though they see it with the eyes that it looks good, the mind might say, mm, coconut milk and a little tip of thickening agent for mayonnaise. Uh, they might not want it. But when they taste it, they'll realize how similar it is because it's only two things. Uh, the main ingredient that changes um, this and this to mayonnaise is the vinegar. The vinegar is really the main ingredient. Okay, it is the powerful ingredient in this. The, um, the vinegar or the lime juice, whichever one you choose. So I'm going to taste this again. I've added a little bit more mayonnaise, um, a little bit more vinegar to it. So let me taste it now and let you. actually taste very good now you slightly taste the coconut milk which you're not going to get away from that but it's a little sweet and that's a good thing so we have the consistency that's number one okay so it's thick enough it's creamy enough this can go on any egg sandwich any salad and you don't have to feel guilty you don't have to be worried that you're clogging your arteries with egg and oil. And another thing is it, it's actually raw egg that goes in mayonnaise. Raw egg. Can you imagine? So I'm not telling you not to have your mayonnaise, your real mayonnaise, which is this. You understand? I'm just saying have it in moderation because so many people have been having mayonnaise and they're sick and they're wondering what is wrong it's hiking up even your cholesterol it is egg and oil if you don't exercise then it's hiking up your cholesterol you're wondering why your cholesterol is not going down it clogs the arteries and i'm not telling you not to have it because it's something that i really really love i remember back then i had a student boarding with me and she was very slim but she loved the way I cooked and she also wanted to learn to cook and I remember one Sunday I cooked cow food for dinner and then with the cow food I made I had mayonnaise I don't remember if I made it but what I added to it was ketchup and turn it into towns and island and I had it spread all over my vegetable and I said to her oh my god this is so good if I die and go to heaven this is what I would like to have okay so that's how much I love mayonnaise you also can change the mayonnaise by adding avocado um, mangoes green mangoes pineapple um, you know yeah so I said ketchup avocado green mangoes pineapple and whatever else I don't know but you can add that to change the flavor of the mayonnaise you know and uh, make it even more attractive so you're doing a sandwich and you need different colors there you can do that so I am pretty pleased with this and I will be using making more of this I make this all the time but if I do have guests and what is left over is in the fridge and most of the times I just um, mix it in something and give it to the dog or I just pour it in the sink and wash it away because I'm guilty if I, I'll feel guilty if I have it another time I'll, I'll be wondering if it's affecting my health you know uh, and it's something as I say I love with this I don't have to worry so with these two mayonnaise know you understand about mayonnaise the, the, the um the science of mayonnaise you know the thing with uh with, with food if you study or have any knowledge of food science is that things can be mis mixed together and they won't really kill us so now that we have these um i'll be showing you how i use them okay so i hope you will be inspired to try this so if you have your powdered milk as i say you put it in your pot with a little water and a little thickening agent and then 
when it's cooled off or you add it to your vegetable then you add the vinegar to the vegetable or if you want to add it directly to the, the milk product or to the mayonnaise and so you have your salt a little salt a little sugar a little black pepper and most of all vinegar or lime juice so thank you for watching i know this is an interesting video and um, it's really food for thought it's a little bit long i am sorry but i really had to explain this to you so have a good night and please remember to like share and subscribe and this is sharon from everything beautiful